So you can see the amount of smoke you remember for just one weapon. Now obviously one weapon does not an entire battle make, but picture hundreds and thousands all firing together with artillery on top of that. And all but on the days like today, well even on a day like today I guess, it's going to get pretty smoky pretty quickly in what became known as the fog of war. It also explains why the British are all dressed in the bright red coats with the shoot me here cross belts. They know what camouflage is, but it doesn't matter on the battlefield. You can dress the most high tech camouflage to modern man today, hide in that field for days on end of DB, until you take just one shot with this thing, and with a big puff of smoke everyone's asking why that bush just fired at them. So you needed a brightly colored coat to cut through the thick fog and cut down on friendly fire. And finally, one of the weapons the British soldier did have access to is the triangular socketed bayonet. 17 inches of steel, if it's quite comfortably at the end of the weapon, you can still load and fire with the bayonet attached. This thing will not misfire, and also made a great deterrence for cavalry. But it was the soldiers themselves most afraid of the bayonet because of the triangular shaped wound it left behind. A lovely three sides that surgeons couldn't handle in 1812. They could suture two sides up, going for that third, well, those two sides would pop back open. Even if they could shut the surface wound, did nothing for the new triangular hole inside of you. And if you somehow survived that, nobody said you had to sterilize this thing first. Infection would spread, you're done for. Your only hope of salvation lay in an extremities hit to the arms or legs, and now you do have an option, amputation. And surgeons became quite skilled at those, dealing with one of the only ways they knew how, the various wounds suffered at the hands of the peak and pinnacle of technology, the musket. And so on that cheerful note, that does effectively end the demonstration. If you guys have any further questions or want a closer look, I'll be happy to stick around. This weapon's now safe, by all means, come on up. Uh, just to let you know, coming up, uh, I believe, at 3 o'clock is our next presentation, and that'll be a War on Niagara presentation happening in the second gray building behind